Most mirrors are silver. Angel gilding mirrors the glass with gold. The metal layers formed by the silver, copper, and galena solutions are opaque. The gold layer formed by angel gilding is translucent. The secret to angel gilding is learning to recognize what a well-formed gold layer looks like. In this part of the video, we will show you what a gold layer looks like as it is forming and how to mix the tin for gold and gold chemicals to create a gold mirror. The procedures for cleaning, tinning, and painting are the same for all mirrors. The gold and gold activator solutions are mixed first and the reducer is added later. Use the 50 mil cylinder to measure out 15 mil of gold solution. Pour it into the storage bottle. Measure out 15 mil of gold activator and add it to the gold solution. Cap the bottle with the black cap included in the kit. Warm the bottle in hot water until the gold loses its color. You could let the mix sit overnight or place it in direct sunlight for 15 minutes. Activated gold has a shelf life of one or two days. Do not add the gold reducer until you are ready to pour the gold on the glass. Gold, copper, and galena mirrors are sensitized with tin for gold. Note that this is not the same as tin for silver. Measure 3 mil of concentrated tin for gold into the 10 mil cylinder. and pour it into the 16 ounce mixing cup. Rinse the cylinder with distilled water and add that to the cup. Fill the cup with distilled water to the 16 ounce mark. You will have more tin than you need, but you will have the right ratio of tin to water. Set the diluted tin to one side while you clean the glass. Follow the cleaning instructions for a silver mirror. The procedure for tinning the glass is the same as for a silver mirror. Pour at least two fluid ounces of diluted tin for gold on the clean, wet glass and let the tin sit for about 30 seconds. Pour it off and rinse with distilled water. Mix 15 mil of gold solution with 15 mil of gold activator for each square foot of glass. Warm the mix or let it sit until it is almost colorless. Dilute 3 mil of tin for gold to 16 fluid ounces of distilled water. Clean the glass as you would for a silver mirror. Using tin for gold, tin the glass for 30 seconds and rinse it. Now we are ready to pour the gold. Measure out 30 mil of activated gold and 15 mil of gold reducer. Pour them both into an unused paper cup. Box between two cups to mix them. Pour the gold evenly on the glass.
tip the tub to get an even layer of solution. And adjust the shims to level the glass. Set the timer for 20 minutes. It could take up to 45 minutes for all the gold to deposit. The speed of the deposition depends on the temperature of the room, the glass, and the chemicals. A warm, draft-free room is best. Rock the tub periodically to keep the gold depositing evenly. Adjust the shims after rocking. As the gold begins to deposit, the liquid and the glass turn coppery purple. Notice a golden sheen developing under the liquid. This sheen, or reflection, is what you are looking for. The brighter the reflection, the thicker the gold. You can hardly see the rack under the glass. Pour off the spent gold and rinse the glass. Looking through the glass, you see a deep gray-green color. Decide if you want to mix and pour on a second layer. Do not retin the glass. When the gold deposit is complete, measure out 50 mil each of the silver solutions. Pour into a paper cup. box, and pour the silver over the gold. Let the silver sit for five minutes and tip it off. The silver over the gold is straw colored. Rinse, dry, and paint as you would a silver mirror. Angel Gilding produces a seamless layer of pure gold on glass using two-thirds less gold than gold leaf. Add 15 mil of gold reducer to 30 mil of activated gold per square foot. Let the gold deposit for 20 to 45 minutes. Add a second layer to deepen the gold. Back the gold with a layer of silver to finish the mirror. Rinse, dry, and paint the mirror as usual.